Hey guys, what is good? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen, if you haven't been here before. And today I am doing my everyday makeup routine. And I'm gonna be trying some new techniques. So I don't know how smooth this video is gonna go. But yeah, let's get straight into it. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, any other videos you wanna see. Um, and yeah, oh, and Happy New Year. Okay, so this is like my fresh face you know no makeup on no product as you can see I do have some dark spots um and so I'm gonna show you guys how I literally cover all of this up with no foundation by the way so yeah so I started off by using this moisturizer it is by Palmer's and it is I'm a real beauty guru now it's like this if it would focus it's here I guess I don't know but it's like a, this glow water lily cream moisturizer but basically it just helps like tone your skin I guess so I started off with that and then this is a very unpopular opinion I know a lot of people don't use this but I found this in Ulta for like $10 and I bought it and I'm in love with it it is the Tarte base tape hydrating primer so I'm gonna go in with that first on my face and you really don't need a lot but I did notice that the second I started using this my makeup looked way smoother and it went on so much better and I know it's kind of hard but when I do my makeup I try to always wipe it up because I don't want my face to sag And it's good to like put the primer, the majority of the primer, where the majority of your makeup is going to be. So since I put the, most of my makeup on my cheeks, then I put the majority of my primer there. And I don't really put that much makeup on my head, so. And I'm someone who has very oily skin, so the fact that this primer doesn't in my opinion doesn't really break down the makeup helps like I it this my makeup stays looking full coverage all day so after I prime my face next I'm going oh wait I skipped a step I'm gonna skip the step okay after I prime my face and this is like my number one like hidden secret I don't know if this is hidden I don't know if a lot of people do this but like I know when I started doing it like my makeup started looking so different so what I'm gonna do is I have this one of the setting sprays that I use and then my beauty blender I'm gonna spray it oh, this is running out I'm gonna spray it so it's damp and I rather spray it with setting spray personally than wet it I don't know because I just feel like it go the makeup goes on so much better okay so then I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier deep medium deep translucent powder and I'm gonna put that on so this goes on right after the primer and I just put that on anywhere where I want extra coverage and I just like press it into my skin and it does kind of look a little uneven but I promise when you put finish everything and put the makeup on it'll look so much better And you really just put this anywhere where you're gonna have makeup on. And for this step, it's better to use a damp beauty blender over um, like a brush just because you can like literally press it into the skin. Clogging up all those pores, I know, but it's so necessary. Don't forget those eyelids. Okay, okay so after you go in with the powder, now it is time for the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. And when I tell you this is a holy grail, this is my favorite product I have ever purchased makeup wise because it is so lightweight, so it is so full coverage. You can really use it for anything. Um, it's like a multi use sculpting concealer, like so you can use it to like contour or conceal for foundation. And yeah, so it says conceal, contour, highlight, and retouch. I don't know, this is literally my holy grail. Love it. And I am in the shade chestnut. I honestly think I could go a shade lighter because being in, it's winter, so I've gotten a little bit lighter, but um. 
you guys are gonna see let me know in the comments if i should go a shade lighter because i always feel like my face is darker than my chest sometimes so i don't know but you guys will let me know okay so i'm going to go in with this on my problem areas watch how much product i have to use like this i will probably run out of this bottle in like months because if i wore makeup every day i would run out of this bottle in months because you don't have you barely have to use any product here let me just do that side first just to show you guys i would recommend using a brush over a beauty blender because i feel like it just makes the, the product look more smooth and your makeup look more smooth instead of cakey so i'm just gonna blend this out Oh my god, oh my gosh. You could lit look how perfectly it's blended already. But you guys remember what my face looked like before? Makeup? No makeup. I swear they need to sponsor me because. So now time for the other side. And you see how like the majority of my product is going on my cheeks. That's why I really focus my primer right there. Look how perfect and blended that looks. Now you can still see like my face looks kind of different because there's not as much product. So I put, did I already do it down here? I don't think so. I put a little bit right here. Um, I put a little dot right there and a little dot right there. Just because I don't wear, I, for some reason it blends in. Like my, I don't know, my forehead is just darker the rest of my face, but I don't really need that much on my forehead or my nose like I kind of just take what I put there and bring it down to my nose so obviously my face looks a lot different way more even blended and I kind of looking a little dewy but yeah don't can't you see like how little how I've used a tiny bit of product and look at the difference in my face so you don't really have like this is why this is my holy grail because you don't have to cake it on a whole bunch just to like have a smoother face so this is where the new tricks come in i am going to go in with my bobby brown intensive skin serum in the shade golden um i like this concealer because it's very lightweight and also it's like a serum so it has stuff in it that lightens your under eyes throughout the day and i always wake up with dark puffy under eyes so this is like a holy another holy grail of mine that i also feel like is so slept on like i don't think i've ever watched a video and anyone has used this personally i just haven't seen it but yeah so this is the applicator but i'm gonna go in with a brush i'm going to spray the brush with the um with my setting spray and then i'm going to put the product on the applicator and i'm going to go right here my hands are shaking and go up like that then i'm going to take some more and go like that so let me put some more product on So I, this is what I'm going to do instead of creating a triangle. First, I'm going to go back in with the Beauty Blender with this product. So just because I feel like this is something that I need to pat in. Okay, so now I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side. So, this is the finished concealer. I don't, oh my god, this is looking really good. Um, yeah, this side definitely looks a lot better. I don't know why, it's just giving. 
it's giving what it's supposed to give after i finished my concealer i just missed over with this so um next i'm going to and I don't even know if this is the right order. I kind of just put my makeup on. However, but next I am going to use my e.l.f. Cosmetics Cream Contour Palette. This is, I've heard a lot of good reviews about this, but this is my first time using it. Yikes. But this looks so, it looks like chocolate. Mmm. Okay. So for this, I am just about to go in with the same brush that I used on my concealer. I know that's not good, but oh well. And I'm going to use this darkest shade. I'm going to put this right here. I really don't use like that's about all I use and I blend it in with this beauty blender I don't use that much that's why like I really don't use that much product so that's why see can you see the difference I don't know why I don't know if this camera looks different but like okay I love to get products that are like full coverage in a way because I don't use that much product on my no I love to use products yeah full coverage products because i don't use that much so i feel like they just last me a long time contour my nose as you guys can see i just did my nose inside to my face that's all i contour Whew, okay i'm sorry i was reading messages <laughs> um oh my god okay snatched okay skin okay it's giving what it's supposed to give okay now we're moving on to eyelashes um i am a eyelash extension lover i love eyelash extensions i swear by them if i could have them in every day like when i get me a job and i'm having like a steady income i'm going to have my like my lashes will never be out but and also it's quarantine right now so i guess that there'd really be no reason for me to have eyelash extensions and looking bomb sitting in the house but you usually i would have in some eyelash extensions so this look is not going to be as bomb as like in my eyes but whatever when i don't have my lash extensions in what i do is i use the lancome or lancome i don't know how lancome i think whatever the lancome seals boost xl booster xl and then after that i'll go in with the fenty and then the voluminous lash paradise i don't really love either of these two mascaras but i have yet to find a mascara that's significantly better so please in the comment section leave some mascara mascara recommendations i'm really gonna be focusing on the outer corner and Fenty Beauty did its thing with makeup this year but not the mascara do my lowers so I definitely have some products so but what I do is I'm just gonna use my phone for this so I can really see. I'm gonna lick my thumb and I'm just gonna take it off. Look at the difference. Now I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay. So after I do my mascara, I usually like wiped off a lot of the product I put up here. So I just feel like that over it again. You know, just to perfect everything. Now. This is my favorite product ever. Um, it's the Patrick Ta Four Brows Brow Wax. And now I'm going to go in with the Patrick Ta Four Brows Brow Wax. This is my Sephora favorite. It's literally perfection and I love how it has a little mirror. I take my spoolie, spray it with a setting spray. So now I take my spoolie. Brush my brows up. And the thing about this is, it's literally like, when I say it's a wax, this stuff is literally like a wax. And I love this, like, look of wild brows, so I just brush my brows straight up like this. And then, I just go like that. Don't they look way thicker than they did before? Then I'm going to go in with my NYX Fluff and Fill. And I'm just going to basically fill in those little spots. Voila. 
brows are done and honestly my brows are my favorite part of my well I feel like I've said everything is my favorite part of my makeup routine but doesn't my face look so different after my brows are done I feel like a Victoria's Secret model we're moving on to the second to last part which also is one of my favorite parts because it really gives your face like that finishing touch and that is highlighter so I'm gonna go in with my Becca highlighter I will I don't care I don't care if I don't care who makes a highlighter. I will always be using my Becca Champagne Pop. Like, it's amazing. So, I'm gonna go in with the Becca Champagne Pop with this little tiny brush. And I'm just going to place this in my inner corner. You see? See? When I told you that it was like that finishing touch. So now I'm gonna wait to put my um i'm gonna wait to apply the highlight on my cheekbones and my nose until after i spray my setting spray this is the benefit benetint blush it's like a liquid blush and what i do you can also use it to tint your lips but what i do is i like to take the little applicator and i like to put it on this brush that and I like to take my brush like this I'm only putting one so on this side because it already has some from the other now I set my face with one of my um, setting sprays okay so now I sprayed my setting spray and I'm going to go in again with my Becca highlighter with this Morphe brush that one of my good friends gave me and I love it. I still use it every day. It's so much harder to do when it's all like crushed up because you don't get as much product. Do you see that? Look at the pigment. Wait, can you see? Oh wait, yeah, you can see. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I am not a beauty girl, so let me know if I'm doing anything wrong. And then I'm going to go in with this brush. And this is just like a little brush I got from like CVS. Then just blend that in. And this also gives your nose like an extra little contour as well. And I'm going to apply that right here on my Cupid Spell. Whew. And now I am done. So this is the finished look. And normally I would go in with my Ben Nye Final Seal Setting Spray, but... I'm just about to go take all this all off. But this Ben Nye Final Proof Setting Spray, it's really expensive. It was like $30, $40. But the thing is, it is completely transfer proof. I can tell the biggest difference from when I don't wear this and when I do. And I can literally let this and my makeup will not come off. It will not transfer at all. It comes in like a bigger bottle, but I put it in this small little bottle. So I definitely recommend getting this. That is it for the video. I hope you guys love this makeup routine. And if you're going to use it, let me know in the comments. Tag me in your Instagram pictures of you using it if you want. Um, yeah, this is just my everyday chill makeup routine. <laughs> Nothing major, but it's just... I feel like it really complements my face and my features personally obviously we all have different face shapes and we all have different faces so you will have to switch up some stuff but you know for the most part I swear by this routine I definitely could tell the difference from what I looked like at the beginning from what I look like now and dark spot who dark spot where period skin is smooth and clear don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, subscribe, and that is it for today's video. I hope you guys loved it. 
I know I did. <laughs> I enjoyed filming it. Comment any other videos you want to see and follow me on Instagram. Bye.